Hello, welcome to Escaping the Echo Chamber. Today I want to talk about Omarosa. Omarosa is a super villain, like seriously, but she's good. It's, it's astounding to watch what's happening uh, right now in terms of, you know, the, that, like she's taking on the entire Trump administration and not because of reasons like she thinks that they're, well, even though she's saying she's doing it because they're corrupt and they're liars. Really, this is a personal vendetta. And it's clear that this is actually what they were afraid of. Um, they're, 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 they were afraid that she would go scorched earth on them. And in fact, that's what she's done and she's doing. Um, it's, 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 this is so entertaining to watch because it's, it's one thing to watch, you know, a movie where you've got, uh, you know, two sides warring against each other. And it's another thing to see this play out just like, even from reality TV, if you liked it on reality TV, now you look at, um, it happening in real life, real reality TV. It's like, oh man, this is so entertaining. It's funny because I listened to her, I listened to the, the tape she released of General Kelly firing her. This is a general in the military. And if you listen to his voice, the stammering, the stuttering, trying to find words, he's scared. This general in the United States military is scared of Omarosa. <laughs> he's got like... Like, seriously, this dude is scared. And the whole fact that Donald Trump sent him to do it rather than doing it himself shows you, well, he was scared, too. Well, you know, Donald's a coward, but he's scared of her, too. He's the president of the United States, but he's scared of Omarosa. And as we see what's playing out, you realize they have reason to be scared of this woman. This woman is vicious. And, and he said it in his, his tweet. She is vicious. Uh, but I go back to, uh, when she was first fired and I remember how people on the left were just bad mouthing her. Oh, she, why was she even in the white house? And that irritated me because number one, you, you, you know, what, she's not qualified and why she like, you, you've got this black woman who, even though you disagree with her politics and it's not even her politics, it was just the fact that she was in the Trump white house wasn't because she necessarily believed in uh right-wing politics it's because it was trump so now tell me this if you have an individual who even if they disagree with someone's politics but this is they have a close personal relationship with that person they're not going to say wow this person's going to the white house like like i'm down i'm in just because it's it's that's what brought her that's what kept her there that's what brought her into the white house because she had a a, a personal relationship with donald so I don't even because I haven't even heard anything from her to suggest that she's um, I haven't heard anybody suggest that she's, you know, some right wing Republican. Um, so it's not even about it was just that she was in his administration that really pissed people off, which let me seriously get over it. Um, it, it, it. It made sense for her to be there in terms of whether or not he was actually going to do things for masses of black people, he was definitely going to, it was, it was advantageous to her personally. Um, so I, I get where, why she was affiliated with that. And, and, and that's understandable. Um, I, you can still disagree with it, but I understand where it came from the, uh, but yeah. So when people are criticizing bad mouth her, why is she even there? It, it, it made no sense because that wasn't her first time in the White House. She worked for the Clinton administration, number one, but nobody was talking about it. Oh, she's not qualified. Well, how, how can she not be qualified all these years later when she was, what, 15, 16 years earlier in the White House? Um, not to mention, she's almost, uh, she's working on her PhD. She has multiple degrees, is working on her PhD. Not qualified. I mean, seriously, people were using their personal dislike of her to just make all kinds of ridiculous claims. But it's funny because even though th those same people aren't embracing her now, they're realizing, wow, like there's an opportunity here that she can accomplish 
what all of these assholes weren't able to accomplish, you know, for Dolo. For Dolo, by herself, she's, she's taking on this administration and all you assholes couldn't do shit. Couldn't, couldn't get anything accomplished against, I mean, you're kept praying and, and she's going by herself. She's taking on, and you can tell that people in, in Trump's administration are shook. They are shook. And she's doing it by herself. Like that right there, like um, I saw her on Trevor Noah. And, you know, he said, you know, don't you fear for your safety? And she says, if you see me in a fight with a bear, pray for the bear. <laughs> like I said, this woman is a super villain. And it's, it's, this is so fun to watch. Um, because, like, you can see how intelligent she is, how calculated she is, how vicious she is. And Trump, you see, this is what I'm saying. It's, it's, it's funny because Trump has, is unscrupulous. But he's a dummy. He's a dummy. And all you do to support him, recognize he's a dummy. So uh, uh, he, he's just, he's fragile. He has uh, just, just even as he admits it, that the, the, I, well, I kept around because she said nice things about me. So if you know you're just that, that fickle, that, that gullible, that all somebody has to do is say nice things about you, like that's clearly a dummy that's clearly somebody who's stupid as hell that that flattery will will can can be used against them so effectively so 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 precisely to 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 just gloss over all other faults this dude is an idiot and it it's just funny seeing her um go to war with them so now um the interesting thing is though her the non-disclosure agreements even though i don't think she actually signed one um from the time that she started as a white house employee unenforceable because you're not working for donald trump you're working for the united states government and but donald trump is such an idiot he he can't even get that he he, he still can't get that through his head um but then it's the the thing that they're, they're going after her now is that the tape that she plays um, with uh, Katrina Pearson and I forgot the uh, Lynn Patton, I think her name is, during the campaign, that was a separate NDA that was applicable to the Trump campaign. So that one is going to be interesting to see where that falls. But even in relation to that situation, it's just so funny how, um, you know, she, she says on the talk show, how these they had this conversation about Trump saying the N word and Lynn Patton and Katrina Pearson, Katrina, Katrina Pearson, as you see, uh, was, was just a delusional liar throughout the entire uh, Trump campaign. And she gets on and like, oh, no, we never had this conversation. And that conversation never took place to work a fiction. And then almost she drops the tape. And then <laughs> the story changes to not did the conversation never take place. But the conversations took place so many times, you know, always at, at uh, uh, Omaros uh, Omarosa's be, be request um, initiation. But I mean, seriously, it's just funny how they, they she's got them. She's like literally just calculated this out where she'll say something. Go ahead. Go ahead. Contradict it. Contradict it. Say I'm a liar and then I'm going to prove you're a liar. It's just it's so beautiful to watch. Um, all these scumbags and liars, you know, it's, 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 it is like a movie though. It's, it's the bad guy who's taking on the other bad guys. Um, and it, it's just fascinating and fun to watch. Um, yeah, it, like I said, uh, uh, she's a super villain because, uh, if you take a look at the dark Knight, how, you know, the Joker takes on the whole mob, basically he takes over the mob. Um, but they're all scared of him. All of these, these dudes, you know, you got these all these, these organized crime, um, organized uh, criminal factions that are scared of this one one individual. And it's like, like Omarosa has done this because these scumbags have been just dominating and people have, don't know how to deal with them. And she's just by herself for Dolo, just taking them all on. And it's so entertaining. Uh, well, that's yeah, that's all I got for today. Um, give me a thumbs up. Give me a share. Um, subscribe. Hey, comment. What, what, how do you feel about the situation? Um, if you disagree with my 
you know, anybody who disagrees with my characterization of, uh, characterization of Trump as an idiot, go ahead. Um, comment on it and I will prove you wrong. Okay, uh, see you next episode.